This is Deborah Potter with News Lab, and I'm going to introduce you to a new tool that allows you to create what the creators of the tool call four-dimensional storytelling. That is, it takes a map and mashes it up with a timeline and allows you to add in additional media elements, including narration, if you want to. So I've already started, as you can see, and I'm going to start uh, editing this now. And what you get when you click on uh, the beginning of your uh, miograph is a, a stage, if you will, here on the left side, which allows you to start adding things. And the elements on your timeline and on your map are called moments here. So I'm going to add a moment. And the first moment I want to add is 1948. So here we go, 1948. It happened in Minnesota. And you'll notice that it already jumped up to the top of the timeline, so I didn't have to move it at all. Um, and I'm going to put um, the first instant camera and add now, but just by putting in the location and the date, it's now created a location here in Minnesota for me. It's put a link here to Minnesota so I know where I am in case I can't read the map. And down here at the bottom you'll see on the timeline it's created a point at 1948. So that's all automatic. Now adding a photo, which I want to do, I went to grab that from my my computer and I will point out that you have to have the photos. You can't just put in a link to a photo that's online somewhere else. It has to be something that you can put up yourself. Um, and it allows you then, once you've added your photo, to change what it looks like. You can zoom in and out if you want to. You can turn it around if you want to. Make a little twisty thing if I want to turn it side to side. Can't imagine why I'd want a sideways uh, camera, but it might happen that you know the photo is backwards and you need to flip it. And you can zoom in and out to make, you know, put it in the position that you want it. So that's sort of where I want it, I think. And I'd like to see all of it. And then um, I'm going to add a link because um, I, that's something else that this allows you to do is put a little bit of depth, if you will. And I found, as you saw there, I went a little too fast, a, um, a Polaroid uh, company page which has a little history. So I'm going to add in a little history of the camera, or at least the Polaroid. Paste it in there, say OK. And there it comes up, 75 years Polaroid. Now when I see that, I think maybe I'll just move my photo over. I have plenty of room. Then I'm going to say Save Image. And this is really important. I need to save over here as well. OK, so that's that page. And then if I want to add a narration, that's pretty easy. It's right here. I just click on this button. There's a red, obviously, recording button here. And I get a little countdown before I begin to record. So here we go. Instant photography is a given today, but it was mind-boggling when Polaroid introduced the first instant camera in 1948. So that's pretty much all there is to that. Now again, I want to test it, so let's see how that sounds. Instant photography is a given today, but it was mind-boggling when Polaroid introduced the first instant camera in 19... I think that's okay. Now remember, you must save it. If you re-record, and you've only saved the first time, it will not save your updates. Very important to know. All right, let's see if we want to put in one more thing. Yes, I think so. Let's add a moment, and we'll make it um, 1972. So in 1972, something big happened. It happened in California. And it was video first video game. That's what we're going to say. And here we want to put in, um, I think, a YouTube video. OK, oops. I have to have the link prepared, but there's an Atari commercial. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's put in a photo of the original Pong. And then I would point out to you that you see here at the bottom, I think this is a, maybe something they're going to have to fix. It looks like I've got a link to Polaroid here, which I certainly don't want. So I want to get rid of that by just clicking on link and saying mm, blank, and then it goes away. OK, fine. So that seems to be about where I want that. So let's save the image. Let's save that. And then let's put in another moment to add that YouTube video. Okay, so this is 1978. And we're just going to say Atari 
commercial, just because it's fun. And besides, you want to see how it works. So again, I need to have my link, which I've already found, highlighted before I put it in. There it is. I'll paste it in. And up comes the Atari commercial. Now, by default, it says 15 seconds, but I can actually use more than that if I want to. So I'm putting in 31 seconds, the whole thing. Let's see if I need to come in a little bit there. I think it's fine. All right. So we're going to um, save that. And then we should pretty much have our timeline pretty well organized. Let's see what it looks like now. OK, Atari. Let's see your best pitch. So there you are. That's the, uh, that's the way it works. Obviously, you would be going back to the beginning to test it and make sure everything works OK. And uh, you'll see that on the left side, you have your locations. You have um, links at the bottom. You have your narration. So let's go back and just make sure it's really there. Television was still in its infancy in 1956, but people already wanted a way to change the channel without getting off the sofa. So that's how it works. As I say, it's in beta, so it probably will uh, have some changes made along the way. Uh, but it is free and might be worth trying if you want to try to uh, create some uh, mashups of maps and timelines and so forth uh, for, for use on your website. It's very easy to share. You can embed it here. That gives you the iframe code. You can tweet it. You can put it on Facebook. And you can uh, share it in other ways, too. All of that right there. So that's a Miograph, and if you want to read more about it and other tools, come to newslab.org.